Now, here's sports director Gary Dearborn with Channel 2 Sports. Well, we're getting close to that Saturday kickoff with Nevada and UNLV. The Wolfpack will be looking to keep the Fremont Cannon silver and blue for a second consecutive year and for the ninth time out of the last 10 matchups. But a lot of these guys have a little more appreciation for the most expensive trophy in college football. Yeah, you might recall it didn't end well for the Pack back in 2013. UNLV put an end to the Pack's eight game win streak in the series at Mackey Stadium 27-22. But then the Pack brought back the cannon from Las Vegas last season, hammering the Revs 49-27. So both teams, they know what it's like to win and lose in this series. Um, it means a lot, man. Like, you know, like I said, this university has changed my life, and that's, that's a representation of this, this university, this state, uh, this family. So it means a lot to me. We know this is a big game, and the, the cannon is what we play for, and it's, a, it's I mean, it's a big rivalry game, and we, we both saw it go back to Reno last year, and we want to bring it back this year. Um, the cannon's been blue most of my life, and coming out here, I'd go to pretty much every you know Nevada UNLV game and just seeing the cannon roll on the field and being able to see it roll back with the wolf pack and you know and I was sitting there as a little kid and there's those years that I saw it roll back with with the UNLV and I just that didn't sit well with me and now it's now it's me getting a chance to fight for it and yeah Austin went to Reed High School as you know uh, it's cool to see it even more important a kid that grew up here as for this weekend's game and the PAC's opponent. The Rebs are 1-3, having lost to Northern Illinois, UCLA, and Michigan, and are coming off an 80-8 win over Idaho State. We'll have more on them tomorrow. As for the battle for the Fremont Cannon, it's Saturday at Mackey Stadium, kickoff set for 4 o'clock.